Hey everyone, welcome to the Team Empower team call. Uh, tonight we're going to be discussing the skill of consistency. Um, I'm pretty excited to talk about it with you guys and I'm going to do a couple of housekeeping um, info first. You want me to bring up Yeah, that? please. Okay, we'll just share the screen here. And just one second, I'll just make it, I'll put it in. Can you see that, Jen? Can you just nod? Yeah, okay, great. Okay, it's all yours. Forward, backwards. Okay, perfect. Don't go too far. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to talk about is recognition. Um, today, I just want to recognize everyone who's on the call. Um, congratulations for being on the call. <laughs> I think you're amazing, and I'm super glad you're here. Um, so and on the team. And on the team, yes. of course. Yeah. Um, for those that catch the record. Yes. Um, number two housekeeping is there. We have. I'm running a one day coach sneak peek on next Monday. I'm going to be setting up a group tomorrow, so I will actually send the link in the coach chat and on the coach page for you to add any of your potential coaches um, that you'd like to, to see the sneak peek, see what it's all about. Um, so that starts Monday. It's going to be one day. I'll be in there live quite a bit and just really showing the things that we do daily um, so they can get, kind of get an idea for it. Now, number three is something I wanted to talk about. Um, in just a little bit, but elaborate a little more. Uh, Transform 20, the launch group is now open. I've put the link in the chat a couple of times. I've also put it into the uh, coach group. If you have not added yourself into this launch group, you definitely need to. Um, the launch group is essentially, Mark and I will be posting all things Transform 20 from now until December 4th when the packages are launched. Right. So it will help you, you can put all of your potential clients or all people who you might think would be interested in Transform 20 or they'd be interested in a program for the new year. The, this is the space you'll put them because we'll tell them everything, you know, about Shanti, about the program, um, about the packages, when we launch, what they're going to need, what they'll do. We literally share everything with them so that on December 4th, you can help your client, your potential client with whatever package they are looking for. And this group is really, we call it a launch group, but it's to amp up the program. It's to get your clients excited, to get them to join you. And I can tell you from the past, when we launched 80 Day of Session last uh, December in January, it was the biggest months of our business. Absolutely. And, and you wouldn't think so because of the holidays, but it is. It is absolutely. Well, January is always a big It's big massive. Yeah. So is February. Um, as long as you're inviting to these launch groups, if you're not inviting to them, if you're not putting people in there, if you're not hosting your own, please use ours. But if you're not doing it, it's not going to work. So you have to invite to it. You have to put your people in there, even your current clients. Like you can help them. They're going to have completion packs as well for Transform 20. So you can put your current clients in there. And, and when they see the completion pack, they can let you know which one they want. And, and as you talk about your, um, this program coming out that you're going to be doing on in your posts and in your stories, People are going to get excited. They're going to wonder what, wonder what you're talking about and either ask you questions or when you message them because they've been checking out your stories or hit one of your polls, um, you're going to talk to them about it and ask them, hey, I saw that you saw it in my story. Thanks so much for watching. Do you want to get in on my, my team's info group? It's a really great program. It's 20 minutes a day. It's perfect timing for the new year. Let's do this kind of thing. So just remember use your own words use stories big time stories are massive for your business i say this because instagram has become a huge um part of of sorry um i lost my train of thought promotion 
Uh, no. No. Uh, anyways, use your stories, use your polls, ask questions in, in your stories. Every person who watches my stories, I message them. Whether they hit my poll or not, I say, hey, I'm not sure if you hit my poll by a mistake or not, but would you like in this group? There's always a way to connect and create conversation. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm still under the weather. Create conversation with people through your stories. And I will tell you, People are watching your stories for a reason. They're taking time out of their, their day to watch your stories. They could be watching something else, but instead they choose to watch you, and that's because you inspire them or you're giving them something of value that, that they want. They're just waiting for the right time to either connect with you or they're waiting for you to connect with them. So I say, if they're watching you, it's an open invitation for you to invite them always um next on the list number six hold on before we go back um i just wanted to combine three four five there for a second Perfect. yes um transform 20. uh we do have the information group the launch group and it has all the important dates in there mm -hmm. but december 4th is the launch date for package sales yes okay so that's the pre-sale date um for all the packages and then we have nine weeks until it it launches live on BOD for early release. Early release. So if you are planning on promoting a Sean T program, such as Transform 20, you know, it's coming out January 7th, through your stories, then I would suggest getting on a Sean T program yes. now and showing right now. that you're doing Sean T programs. Um, one of the other Quick little tidbits that I had, and one of the thoughts I had was, do not mention names of programs in your stories, okay? Reason being, if someone sees that it's Beachbody or someone sees the name of a program, they can possibly go out and just get it themselves. Yeah. You wanna create the curiosity, you wanna create the conversation as to what program you're doing or what program you're promoting. Occasionally, yes, I will put up a story that has a program name in it, but not all the time. It's it's once in a while, okay? Mm -hmm. There you go, number six. Perfect, um, and actually, sorry, just to kind of go off that a little bit, the next team call, we're gonna be talking about signing up and how we're going to work the early release of the program because right. there's massive stuff we can do within your businesses to help it grow with that. Cool. Okay, number six, Quite. the Crush It Vision Board Night is this Saturday, 6.30. I will put the address into our chat uh, tomorrow. I know a lot of you are coming. It's BYOB, so bring your own booze. I bring a bottle of wine, whatever you love. Um, and then your favorite app, whatever that may be. A lot of people like to bring To Be Mindset inspired. I bring whatever I love. That may be guacamole and nachos. <laughs> but I'm excited for you guys to come. There's actually gonna be some really great stuff. Okay. So now we're going to be talking about, um, I'm so sorry. Skip. Did I skip a, yeah, skip a slide? No, but I'm just, the skill of consistency. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, first of all, coaching. When we start coaching, when we're starting something new and exciting, it feels amazing, right? You feel good, you feel excited, you feel like this, this new, big, exciting thing, you're gonna rock it, you're gonna crush it, and, <clears throat> what happens when you first start coaching? So I want to talk, talk a little bit about this. You feel excited. You're ready to change the world. You're ready to change lives. We can't wait to be a team. You're excited to meet your team. You're excited to be part of something great and positive. You're excited to share this with the world. And what happens is we teach you <clears throat> everything you need to know. We teach you how to post. We teach you how to how to build a successful business, how to create a community, and you know, just to be part of something. And what happens is, so if you can see my little diagram here, so at the top of the first line, emotional energy, this is where we're feeling happy, excited, all of those good feely vibes, right? And at the bottom, we have time, okay? This is gonna make sense at the end of it. So, I'm just going to skip to the next one here. I didn't think it would go that fast. That's <laughs> all right. So when you're in the first half of I, the I, I want to take you back here a second okay. because you said uh, being part of a team and getting trained. Mm -hmm. um, I'm now beta testing a new training system, just so everyone knows. 
because we are going to be taking a step away from the all the training that we've done previously because I've realized that there's a great deal of overwhelm when there is too much information thrown at you okay so there's going to be a new starter email which takes you to some new starter uh, landing pages training starting landing pages and then uh, eventually brings you to three training groups uh, Facebook training groups that you can do at your own pace. All right, hit it. Okay, so, so, okay. So at the beginning of your coaching career, you're feeling excited. You're feeling that emotional energy that you can change the world, that you're going to change lives. And what happens is in that first half, half moon, let's call it, the first half moon, this, half of the this is where you're learning. This is where this is where we don't really let self-doubt creep in yet because we are learning so much um, and we're posting and we kind of have an idea of what to post. We know we're supposed to be the product of the product, right? So we share. Even, even if we don't have an idea, you're so excited that you create your own idea. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then what happens as you start to get to the very top of a half moon is where it gets hard. Because then I find that's the place where most of us either, number one, we get overwhelmed. Number two, we're unsure of what we should be posting. Number three, we've had bad feedback from people because they're dealing with their own issues and they seem to take it out on people who are in a good place or starting something new or anything negative, anything that negative happens. Um, you know, you're feeling like you should be doing more, but you're not sure what, um, as soon as it starts to get a little bit hard because you're starting to progress in your business and though it may seem you're not, you are. And as soon as it gets hard, what happens is most people quit in that first half moon. Most people say, no, this is too hard. I don't know how to reach people. I'm not reaching enough people. I'm getting too many no's. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think how I look is good enough. I can't tell stories. I'm not a good writer all of these things creep in and people will give up really quickly. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and then what happens is, and what I learned is because I was one of those people too. I, you know, when I got to that top of my half moon and once it got hard and where I was really unsure of what I was doing and, and where most all of us get to is instead of giving up, if you just push that a little bit harder, if you just keep going with those daily activities you were doing in the first half moon and not thinking about all the things you should be doing or what you should look like or comparing yourself to other coaches because we all do it, trust me, once you get through that and keep inviting, keep posting, just keep on with your daily activities, um, then you get through that hard. And everything doesn't seem hard anymore because you're remembering what you did and, and you think you, the self-doubt kind of goes, it goes away because you're realizing that you don't need to do all of these, these immaculate things you're thinking you should be doing. Um, and you realize you should just be doing the daily vitals. Um, Same. exactly. So you have a more intuitive understanding. You, you understand how to post a little more quickly, a little more faster. You understand the intent behind posting, uh, you learn how to invite uh, through your posting and in your messaging a little bit better because you're realizing, you know, it's okay to be who you are. You don't need to be someone else. Um, everything just comes easier after the hard part. Like just with, even with inviting, you you don't feel like you need to invite with a, let's say a salesy kind of tactic. I've done it in the in the beginning, you mm -hmm. know, you don't need to do that because we're all just people looking to help people So you talk to people the way you would want it to want to be talked to <coughs> Free yourself from any thought that you're supposed to be someone else other than you This is something I've learned in the past year. I've put blinders on and that's what I want all of you to do I want you to put blinders on to everybody else any other coach and realize that you decided to help people for a reason. And we're going to get to that, but you need to be authentically you. And, and I don't necessarily like to say that all the time because people like that's hosh posh, but you really need to just believe in yourself and be who you are to attract the people you want on your team. Well, I don't think it necessarily is 
whatever that term was. Hosh, posh, 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 I've never heard that. <laughs> but for, for me as a guy, I get it pretty easy in this business because it is a predominantly female business. Yeah. So because you have all these female coaches, all these women coaches, um, you all kind of get the short end of the stick because you have a lot of people to compare yourself to. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know of a lot of female coaches that will go look at a male coach and compare themselves. Yeah. So you all got, you, like I said, you all get a kind of a short stick there or you, you get the, the short end of the stick because you have so many possibilities for comparison. Mm -hmm. I lucked out. I don't have many. In those that I do have or that I do choose to look at, I still don't compare myself to them because I know that I am me and I know that I am authentic and I know that what I have to offer is damn good enough. That's right. That I don't have to pretend to be somebody else and I don't have to um, behave like somebody else in order to be a good coach, right? Mm -hmm. So that said, like I said, you know, all the women have it a little bit more difficult because there are so many out there to look at and to mirror, I yes. guess. And I think that's what's in your next, yes. your next, uh, it, that's in number three. Yeah. So we won't get there. Okay. Yet. So these are four tips that I have that have really helped me, um, that I wanted to share with you. So number one is find your purpose, your why. So I know we talk about our why a lot when we first start coaching, but I really, really want you to have an emotional attachment to it. This is the reason why is if you remember that that moon I showed you, if you do not have an emotional the graph, the graph, the graph. Sorry, graph. <laughs> if you don't have an, an emotional attachment to it, you will quit in that first path. You will. I know this because I've seen it a hundred times. Helping people is one thing, okay? but you need to have an emotional purpose as to why you're doing it. I do this because I want to be home with my family. I want to change lives because it's been something we've always done together and it really makes me happy and it makes me happy to be successful um, on my own doing. And it makes me feel strong, and that's the, that's what I love. And I, and I always want to have control over my family's future. So that's why I do this. <coughs> um, so you really need to find an emotional attachment to your why, to your purpose, why you're doing this to you. Why does it matter to you in your heart? That will push you through the hard time. Now, number two. <coughs> I'm drinking. Sorry, it's getting bad. There's my M cup. Yes. I was looking for my M mug. <laughs> Plan with accountability. Plan your posts. I plan my posts all the time, especially my accountability group and my free groups. We have access to so many free groups. You just plan your posts. It's done. I plan them for a week. It's done. I don't have to think about it. Um, I also have a weekly, a monthly calendar that I fill in exactly, you know, when I'm running my challenge groups, when I should be promoting a free group, when I should be promoting a new group. And maybe I'm doing a three-day refresh group. I always plan everything. Yes, you can allow. Have we made the quarterly calendars available for <laughs> the, the team yet? No. Okay. So there, there was a quarterly, or sorry, an annual with quarterly mm -hmm. section. Uh, I don't know how you say that. There was an annual calendar yeah. for all the events that came out of leadership. Yeah. That was in Las Vegas a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I have my hands on it, and it's broken down by months and quarters. And it has every important date yeah. that you need to know. So we'll share that in the coach group. Definitely. And, and then, I also came up with a, because you have about planning your week. Yeah. I have, I, I've been just kind of creating some graphics. We haven't released them all yet because they, they were going to be part of the training and everything else. And I don't like overwhelming people too much. Yeah. But it, it has just basically a seven day cycle of posts. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, it's awesome. One day coach post, one day challenge group post, one day challenge group post, coach post, yeah. and so on. And the idea behind that, and who was it that was talking about? It? I think it's Danielle Natoni was talking about it at leadership. And she said she uses this format, and every single day she'll go and look at what day and what kind of post she has to do. And even though she doesn't have a post for that, possibly doesn't have an idea for it, she does it anyways. Yeah. 
Because that's, development helps with that. Because that's her job. Okay, mm -hmm. so no matter how uncomfortable it is to come up with a post on a certain day about a certain topic, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's been kind of told that, you know, it's our job, so we have to do it. Yeah. Right? So if we have, say, Wednesday, we have to do a coach invite post, and we just don't have any content, well, suck it up, buttercup, for us, we're just going to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so the next is accountability. Do you have a success partner? If you do not, I suggest you find one. I have two. They're absolutely amazing and hold me accountable I'm to literally everything. No, he's not. Find someone who is not your partner. Find another coach on our team. Find another coach on another team. It does not matter. Find someone that you uh, feel comfortable with, that you can be friends with. My success partners, not only are they uh, business leaders, um, but they, they become my friends. Um, um, if, if you want to find a coach from another team, join the GTA, uh, what is it called? Uh, Kings of Coaches, or yeah, just search a group in, in Facebook. And I can help it. you find one too yeah. as well. On All another right, team. number three. Um, number three, discipline and time management. Okay, this is where I want you to put your blinders on. I want you to stop following other coaches. This like, is what I was talking about. Right now. And all of them stop. <laughs> yeah. And I want you, you to pick three coaches um, specifically. I always follow three coaches who are above me in rank, more successful because, and people I as well I gravitate to, but I always go to more successful because you can learn from them. Exactly. Um, so I think that's very important. My, even my two success partners, they are more successful than I am right now. And that's because I'm learning from them. And I like that. It fuels me to do better. Um, so I want you to stop following coaches. Find three that you connect with that. Not personally connect with. No. That what they Business. post is similar to what you yes. like and is your style. Yes. Yeah. And that doesn't mean comment on their stuff or hit their polls. None of that stuff. You shouldn't be wasting your time scrolling other coaches. Don't waste ever. your time. No. Just follow them for ideas and for inspiration. Um, it's, it's really key, okay? Also, set work hours. There's hours in the day where I do not look at my phone, and if you message me between maybe 5 and 8, I won't get back to you. It's because I'm with my family. So set hours because I know that that can cause, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to say friction, but it can cause an issue because your kids will be missing you or your husband or wife will be missing you. So set work hours, make it and stick to them for you for proper expectations. Now, this is in no way a negative comment, but know that you will get more no's than yeses. It is going to happen, but also know that you're going to get so many yeses. When people say no, it doesn't mean no, not forever. It just means no, not right now. I have people right now who are joining me now just after two years of talking to them. And I may have invited them 10 times, but they're joining me now. And remember, you never know who your next star rock star coach, your next rock star coach will be. So never think of it as a no, not forever. It's a no for right now. And just as an aside, this evening before we did the call, I sent out about 25 messages. And while we have been having the call, I've had three no's and one yes. Yes. Pop up. So they happen. And no's and yeses can be to coach sneak peeks. They could be to joining your group. They could be to your free groups. They could be to your launch group. Just, just know that you're going to get the yeses. Do not make, um, do not make no's bring you down or make you feel down in any way it has nothing to do with you it has to do with them in their situation right now be intentful be consistent stop you know start start being very intentful in your posts and just um sorry you're moving the screen around yeah um what was the other thing uh do your stories a lot and follow up is key yeah all right so there you go we will post this in the coach group for those of you that did not get to make it on, and it will also be on YouTube. All right, I'm going to stop the recording now.